And you can see the final generations right here. We're getting more and more coupe like sloping, tre uh, trendy designs. <laughs> As I'm sure you know, Honda has just unveiled their new Civic, both the sedan and the hatchback. And I feel like they're starting to get more and more similar to each other. And it, it, there's not enough separation between the hatchback and the sedan anymore. So that's what, what I want to change today. I want to bring back the proper hatchback where you have the almost vertical rear end. Not, not really vertical, but you, more ha you have more of a... Uh, wagon-like rear end, not like we have here on the uh, the current, the, the brand new hatchback right here. So let's have a look at the evolution first of Honda Civic so you can see where I'm coming from here. So just look at this beautiful poster here of all the Honda Civics. And to me, the Honda Civics hatchback, or whenever I think of <laughs> just Honda Civic in general, what I see in my, in my mind are probably up until about this point right here so the sixth generation all of these to me would be uh, would be proper honda civics that i remember from childhood and growing up and so on and i'd really love the first generation civic it's such a cool looking thing and imagine having this today it's probably worth a lot because it's the beginning of a legendary design uh, that started the whole Honda Civic uh, line. And also I love these, uh, the traditional Japanese style where you have the side mirrors on the, uh, on the hood there. It's really cool. I wonder how long they kept it up until the th third generation, I guess. But as you can see here, we have a proper hatch design going all the way until this is this is the second generation here I, I guess you could call this second generation this is a proper hatch look at this angle right here this is what you want if you want a small car with a with and utilize the space that you have in the rear this right here honda civic take inspiration from your second generation from 1979 take inspiration from this year and apply it to today's design that's what i'm gonna do in this video in just a minute here and we continue down here we still have a proper hatch design all the way down and we started to get a little more curvy here now this is also one of my favorite civic designs specifically in the type r with these wheels it just looks like a very tight package i remember it having 200 horsepower and it was uh, one of my favorite small hatchbacks uh, growing up this design so it was just a clean looking design and it was super fun to drive as well as you can see all of these hatchbacks up until now have only two doors so this is going to be representative of the two door hatchbacks of the honda civic and then we go into some experimental stuff right here with the seventh generation from 2001 to 2005 i kind of like this design as well but to me it's we're getting farther and farther away from 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 what a hatchback yeah, i guess in the traditional sense is supposed to look like what i want to say here by the way is that i really admire volkswagen for sticking to a proper hatchback design when everybody seems to want to buy coupes and anything that has a sloping roof line for example the gle mercedes which i i will never understand why people buy the sloping roof line it looks horrible over the proper suv which is the gle gle normal suv looks beautiful with a proper rear end the gle coupe totally it like they inverted the design of of the gle but that's on a tangent here so we're gonna keep going down on the hatches here and you can see the final generations right here we're getting more and more coupe like sloping tre uh, trendy designs starting with i guess the seventh generation from 2000 did this go back to 2001 really this looks like a way more advanced design than the 2001 in my opinion but i guess so uh, what i wanted to say about volkswagen is i really uh, admire their decision to stick with a proper hatch for the golf and not turn it into something like this with a coupe line instead of uh, having it be a proper hatch and you can see that we added two doors here now as well we have four door or five doors with a hatch on these two second generations right to two last generation so let's have a look at the uh, the brand new 2022 hatchback right here I mean, it's not a bad looking car. I made a video on this on my second channel, which I uh, would like for you to go and check out before you jump in to the, uh, to the redesign here, because it's going to make a lot more sense what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna link that up here in the corner and down in the description if you wanna go and check that out. So what I wanna do here is very simple, very, very simple. When we create, if, I'm, if I was to turn this into a 
hatch like this with these proportions now it's not gonna be kind of easy it really isn't going to be a much of a hatch it's going to be more of a wagon design as you can see because it stretches so far back here that we're essentially going to create a wagon and that's not what we want to do here we want to create a typical hatchback going back to the early days of the civic right about here and this one as well and take this pump it into the 2022 design that means that we need to shorten the wheelbase because the wheelbase here is the same as the sedan so this is a sedan wheelbase they didn't cut the uh, the, the shorter shorter uh, they, they didn't cut the body of the car to make the short the hatchback shorter from uh, reducing the wheelbase what they did is they reduced the overhang in the rear so they reduced this point right here and then created this uh, end, end point right here and then of course calling it a, a hatchback like that but I just don't think it's the right approach for this car so what we need to do here is we need to basically cut cut the car somewhere about this point right here and then we need to just move it forward a couple of inches not too not too crazy we don't want it to look like uh, like a mini uh, like um, uh, like something that that's not proportionally correct to a hatchback but at the same time we need to move it forward because we can't have this sedan proportions here and on top of that we're gonna have a very raked rear end something like this with the angle going almost not 90 degrees but uh, very a lot more uh, vertical than we have right here to create this traditional hatch of design that we have right here on these all older models there's a lot going on here as you can see that needs to be blended together we have all uh, this cadillac uh, treatment right here of the graphics for example ct5 just go look at the ct5 and you're gonna see what i mean with that this piece right here so it's a lot of challenges a lot of uh small things that needs to fit together here but let's have some fun let's see how this is going to turn out now don't get me wrong i think the honda civic hatchback is actually a good a pretty good looking car but the problem I have with it is that they keep calling it a hatchback, but in my head, this is not what a hatchback is supposed to look like, and that's of course what I want to change here today. One thing that I really like that they changed in the hatchback design compared to the to the sedan is the the front grille. The hatchback has a very unique grille, and it uh, deletes this uh, body colored uh, piece that you have on the sedan that goes down and crosses the uh the the logo in the front it's a lot less uh pronounced in the hatchback and you also have a different mesh pattern in the hatchback in the front grill so it looks pretty cool it's a good looking car but i think we can make it even cooler specifically if you're a fan of hatchbacks like me in the rear i mean the obvious design uh, changes is that the slopes more than the sedan and as i said i'm really happy that there still are companies out there that do create proper hatchback such as Volkswagen Golf and I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon because after all it is a Golf that's how it's been designed since the very beginning of Golfs now as I said also the 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 length for the hatchback uh, is is smaller is five inches shorter than uh, the sedan and that uh, doesn't have to do with any changes in the wheelbase so the wheelbase is exactly the same as the sedan which I also think kind of um, builds on this idea that uh, uh, it's more of a sportback or a coupe Civic than a hatchback. So where they took the this five inches from is just they reduced the rear overhang in the back and it gives it a more sportier look, of course. And also the wheelbase in general, this uh, generation from the previous generation has been increased by 1.4 inches. To separate the sedan and the hatchback even more, the hatchback has a totally different tune than what you have in the sedan. And this would be interesting to really get a, a feel for if, if I get the chance to drive both the sedan and the hatchback. It would be cool to see if you can actually feel these differences in, in, in tune. Now, these both, the hatchback and the, and the sedan, they both come with two engine options one is a two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder with 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque now the exl and the sport touring model they house a 1.5 liter turbo with 180 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque and these are 
as standard hooked up with a boring CBT automatic, but you can have a six-speed manual for both of these engines if you want to. Inside you have a 7-inch touchscreen as standard and you can get a 9-inch screen if you want to in the Sport Touring, mo Touring models. And you also have a fully digital gauge cluster on the Sport Touring models as well as a Bose audio system. So for the wheel sizes here, this is pretty interesting. You can get from factory 18-inch wheels, which are pretty, I, I don't want to say uh, small for today's standard, but it's on the smaller side if you have a, a sportier car today but you can also get them with 235 wide tires which i think is going to look good on the civic whether you have a sedan or or the hatchback i think 235 wide tires i think that has a bigger impact on the stance than having 18 inch wheels which seems kind of small in my opinion but that's another thing we're definitely going to change right here in the redesign and the uh, Honda estimates that the hatchback will sell about, uh, will make up for about 25% of the sales, 75% sedan and 25% hatchbacks, and it's now being assembled at Honda's factory in Greensburg, Indiana. We don't have any pricing information on this new Honda Civic yet, but you could probably expect it to start somewhere around where the current Honda Civic or the previous generation starts at and that starts at around $22,000 you can expect something similar for the 2022 model maybe $500 or $1,000 more for the base 2022 models. All right so here we are just quickly want to show you the before and after and talk about the result here I think I think Honda Civic should have a, a, a version of the Civic looking like this which is a proper hatchback of a design and not call this a hatchback this could be more like a sport bag the it feels like a sport bag, but I wouldn't call it a hatch. This right here, you, it is an actual hatch that you open up like this. And it looks cooler too. It doesn't have to be super crazy, but it, 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 the proportions of a hatch, they just look good. Of course, I had to uh, reduce the, the, the side, the, the width of the rear door here, but not, not by cr uh, in a crazy amount. And that is, it looks pretty decent still and it probably can still fit some people in, <laughs> in the back seat here what i wanted to change and not make the same mistake as we have on the honda civic sedan is i think the honda civic sedan has way oversized taillights so if i were to keep this size and apply it onto the new hatch i did it for a long time in the redesign and it looked off it looked like the the hatchback had way too big of a taillight so I want to shrink them down and also that creates a more sportier look which I think suits the overall hatchback and of course these wheels bang add some really cool type R wheels from a couple of years back that I think suit this car specifically when you have the red uh, outline here it looks really cool other than that very a very straightforward design i didn't want to do anything crazy i wanted to look like it could actually come from honda and a proposal for what a honda civic proper hatchback could look like thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video